In this video, we will explore the functionalities of the modules that compose our solution for the IFRS 9 standard. In our ETL uh, engine, we will explore together all the uh, specific functionalities that are needed in order to perform uh, specific data quality management activities. So once we have uh, ensured the quality of the data that will be fed into our, our IFRS 9 engine tool calculation, then we will uh, start with the first step on exploring together the functionalities of uh, the dimension definitions. In specific, we will um, navigate to the different uh, segmentation differentiation into applying different expected loss formulas, given the, for example, the data availability, given the different credit risk methodologies available to the bank. And then once we have done that, we will move towards the uh, bucket attribution criteria definitions. We will see how uh, flexible the tool is in order to attribute uh, the most complex formula needed for, for the different uh, staging criteria and defining uh, in an efficient way what is a significant increase in credit risk, which might not be the same in all the segments. Then uh, once we have ready all our dimensions, we will see together how the transition matrix could be uh, uh, attained to the software and then how could this specific transition matrix be, uh, let's say, projected into the future up to the maturity of the different uh, exposures, we will see the cumulated, cumulated PD or the marginal PD views. But then again, in order to explore the functionalities of the forward-looking indicators uh, introduction into the expected loss uh, calculations, we will see together how to uh, include the different macroeconomic factors and create different scenarios and then uh, introduce different shocks to these uh, macroeconomic factors in order to be ready in, uh, for, for launching the IFRS 9 calculation. Um, as a last step, we will see how you can run a different, uh, different jobs and different processes for calculating your IFRS 9 impairments and then report these values into graphs or into specific uh, data tables and then uh, export to Excel or do whatever kind of activity that you might need. Finally, we will explore uh, the different functionalities of our dashboard, which is the advanced reporting tool. We'll see together how we can design and uh, report the data under different aspects of analysis. Uh, then you will see how we can um, uh, report uh, different bucket migrations in the same bucket in different periods of time. What are the different voices that have influenced the levels of impairments within the same bucket in different periods of time? And then you can see other kind of reporting, such as impact and simulation, uh, given different hypotheses. 